Putin reveals Russia's army losses in war against Ukraine for the first time. Russian President Vladimir Putin gave a rare update on casualty and prisoner of war figures from Moscow's ongoing war in Ukraine, saying to international journalists that Kyiv's losses were several times that of Moscow's, but providing no evidence to support the assertion. Ria Novosti reported that the president told the heads of international news agencies at a meeting in St. Petersburg that there are 1,348 Russian soldiers and officers in captivity in Ukraine versus 6,465 Ukrainians in Russian detention. Putin also said the ratio of irretrievable losses between Russia and Ukraine was 1 to 5 in favor of Moscow. I can tell you that our losses, particularly irretrievable losses, are certainly significantly smaller than those of the opposite party, the president said. Putin's claim runs contrary to both Ukrainian and US battlefield estimates, which have reported throughout the war that Moscow has suffered significantly more casualties than Kyiv. Analysts assume that 5,000 Russians die in battle every month, and the number of wounded service members is about 15,000. Ukraine's military claims that they eliminated 515,000 Russian troops since the full-scale invasion began in February 2022. Kyiv also says it has destroyed more than 7,800 tanks, 13,400 artillery pieces, 831 air defense systems, 357 aircraft and 326 helicopters. Ukraine's casualty data have been close to US and other Western estimates throughout the conflict. An American estimate from December put Russian killed and wounded at around 315,000, a number equal to nearly 90% of the soldiers that took part in the initial February invasion. The BBC Media Zona investigation, published in April, confirmed the deaths of at least 50,000 Russian soldiers in Ukraine using official reports, open source information, newspaper articles and social media posts. An explosion at a chain home improvement store in northeastern Romania on Friday injured at least 15 people, authorities said. Four of the injured are in a critical condition. Authorities are working to determine what caused the explosion. Two of the victims were transported to a hospital in the city of Yash, while two were airlifted to capital Bucharest to receive faster medical care, Ministry of Health reported. Some of the injured people suffered burns of 10 to 15 percent to the upper parts of their bodies, it said. Emergency helicopters were alerted, and two ambulances and two fire trucks were sent to the scene of the incident. A search and rescue mission is underway inside the store. The explosion occurred at about 10.30 a.m., retail company, Didi Man, said in a statement, adding that an authorized external company was working on its Batasani store's gas supply system during the incident. Video footage shared by the authorities showed part of the building's facade had been blown out by the explosion, with air conditioning units strewn across the area in front of the store amid debris. Pompieri, ti dranto acolo. Cine i pompieri magazinul ăsta? Ce-a băiat ăla? Ha? Băiat ăla. Ha? 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 Ha?